Hey everyone, my name is Murray. Things are changing around here, as you can tell. Got a new mic. You guys did notice in the previous video, the one with the Premiere Pro music app. No? Okay, well, whatever. No big deal. Um, just wanted to get something nice so you guys don't have to listen to chalk or nails on a chalkboard. <sighs> we need to talk about something. Um, one of my videos went viral, which is insane. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Over 450,000 views right now in three months. So a lot of people have been getting a lot of great content and uh, support from that. But at the same time, people have been having issues and problems and uh, even though I did three other videos on it. But so after all of that, there's still some stuff that I didn't foresee and I didn't know that people will ask these kind of questions. So I'm going to go over your questions on those and kind of help you become better at the animations and specifically glowing lines in After Effects because uh, it goes viral and it gets views. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go through a couple of these here. And uh, the first one, app's name. Really? It's in the title. I even say it. Great start. What is the name of the software? What is going on? Okay. App. What? This is an After Effects. It says it in the title. I think I gotta rethink my life here. <clears throat> Bro, please tell app name. It's in Windows Movie Maker. How can you play the vid so smoothly in AE while editing? When I'm editing, the play thing is really slow and there is a green line or something where it does play smoothly. Well, you just gotta do a RAM preview. So a quick shortcut on Windows at least, press enter whilst you have your timeline selected in Premiere Pro and it'll do a RAM preview. It takes a bit of time, but it'll do it. You can also go up to sequence and just render in to out or just the effects. It depends on which one you choose, but one's quicker than the other. And in After Effects, use the numeral key zero on your keyboard or just in the top right in the windows here in the preview tab, you can use the preview button over here. App name, Never mind. So cool, what's the software name? What is going on with these questions? Do you got any tips for me? Yeah, watch the last three videos on this. It's combined about one hour of tutorial. So yeah, there's a lot of tips in it. It's so cool. Please tell me the name of the app you applied the- They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <sighs> what software do you use for this editing? Oh my goodness. Any software, give me link, adobe.com. Imagine you forgot to save it, lol rip. Yeah, I've done stuff like that before. In fact, I've deleted three hour tutorials by accident and emptied the recycle bin. And I couldn't even recover the whole video. So I had to redo all of that. So what I have said on After Effects, is you can go into the settings and you can actually make it save every so often minutes. I have every five minutes, it saves automatically. It saves it into a file right in the root where you saved your original After Effects file. Same thing with Premiere Pro. Could you add an Arabic translation to this video? Arabs would love it. Yeah, sure. You give me about two weeks, I'll learn Arabic and uh, I'll put that up for you. 10 hours, you're lying. You got me. This type of animation need graphics card. I think every computer needs a graphics card. How do you make a jump fish? You got some work on your grammar there, bud, but it's okay. Please make a tutorial. What, you mean like this? Well, the tutorial is right up here. Go check it out. I've watched this tutorial about five times. Yeah, me too. Probably more than that. Thanks a bunch. I'm using MacBook Pro, but how can I get to one frame back or forward? I mean, which button do that? And where can I find page up and page down? Well, on a Mac, you actually just use FN and the up arrow key and the down arrow key. So FN and up is like page up and FN down is like page down on Windows. So very useful because you're going to need to go frame by frame when you're doing glowing animations. So your best friend. 
You the owner of Bottler Media account? Yeah. What this all work and you don't pass 100,000 views? Guys, he needs support. Good luck, man. I wish you all the best, bro. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much for the support. But yeah, uh, more than 100,000 views for sure. Um, but yeah, it's not about the numbers. I just, I like helping people out and providing entertainment at the same time, as corny as I am. How much would you charge for me to just pay you to edit something for me? Uh, contact me on my website, mariafilms.com slash about. Link is in the description. You can email me there and we can get some quotes because sometimes it's different every situation just because clients want different things and there's different amounts of work. So leave me an email, contact me there and we can talk about it. Hmm, wouldn't it be quicker slash easier to use tracking for some of the stuff? Yeah, I actually do do that with the glasses on the guy. I actually tracked it for a bit because I wasn't going to go keyframe the whole thing and it wasn't drawing it frame by frame. It was just actual shape on his eyes and I just tracked it with the motion tracker. So yeah, you can definitely use the effect. Um, if you use the, what's it called? Saber plugin from Video Copilot, you can do that. But if you're actually drawing it frame by frame with the paintbrush, there's no way that you can do that. Or as far as I know, you can't do it with tracking for that. But if you use the Sabre plugin, you can definitely do that. Are you South African? No, close. I'm Zimbabwean, just north of South Africa. Southern Africa, for those of you who don't know. I've been waiting so long for the OG to make the tutorial. Lotla Media? Yeah, he's actually a really cool guy. We've talked a bit and uh, quick tip, he uses Adobe Animate. Go check it out if you want to. I haven't used it because it's just a whole other program to learn. The software is not free, if that's what you're asking. You want a crack? Yeah, here's a crack version of After Effects. Great, I love it. There is one issue. I don't have the Glow plugin. How do you get it? You should have the Glow plugin. I mean, it's native to After Effects. It's not a third party plugin. Just go search in your effects and controls tab and you can find it over there. Whenever I put the paint on transparent on the layer tab, it doesn't show the paint glowing and it's just a black screen. Make sure you didn't do the glow effect just on one layer on your background footage. Make sure that you've duplicated it before you've done any editing to your layer, your video layer at least. And then on that new layer, that's where you do your visual effects and the painting and stuff like that with the glows. Because the background layer underneath is the base. You don't touch that, just lock it, don't even mess with it. And the top layer, that's when you apply all your brush effects to it. For some odd reason, this effect would not work if you have a clip in Premiere Pro and dynamic blink it to After Effects. Any ideas on how to solve this? I've actually never tried that before. I may have the same problem. I created a dynamic link from Premiere Pro following all the steps for drawing no problem. My issue is when I switch to the paint on transparent to on, I can only see the paint lines on the original and the Premiere with the transparent background. I wonder if this is because of the dynamic link or is there another reason with a quick fix? Well, the second part of this, it's just again, make sure you duplicate your footage in After Effects before you edit on that layer. Make sure you have that base layer there so it doesn't kind of hide your video once you click tra tra uh, transparent. As for the top, I've never really tried it in the dynamic link from Premiere Pro, but that could also relate to the answer I just gave to the second half of this question. What about skipping one or two frames and then adding the effect? Will it make it slower? Yes. Yeah, so if you skip every other frame when you're doing this animation, your animation will be twice as long. Now keep in mind that it'll flicker if you just skip a frame. So what you need to do is you can actually duplicate the glow or the paint on the layer. You just go into your paint in the timeline and you can just drag it out one extra frame once you've drawn it. Then go down the frame, and then you just draw your new layer. Now you can also just draw the effect twice. So on one frame, just draw the line once. On the next frame, draw the exact same line. And then the next frame, do the next one a little further in time wherever you want it to go so that every frame is the same one for two frames. Two frames is in the same spot. Next two frames, the next same spot. Next two frames, next same spot. But if you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing. Stick around for the future. I do a lot of visual effects, editing, Premiere Pro, a lot of filmmaking as well. Some great stuff coming in the near future. Really exciting. Uh, stick around for that. I appreciate all of your guys' support. It really does mean a lot. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting. Okie dokie.